My administration is coordinating closely between federal and local officials to investigate the attack and to further investigate this animal who did the attacking. And you've seen the stories about some of these animals. They don't want to use guns because it's too fast and it's not painful enough. So they'll take a young, beautiful girl, 16, 15, and others, and they slice them and dice them with a knife because they want them to go through excruciating pain before they die. And these are the animals that we've been protecting for so long. Well, they're not being protected any longer, folks. Uh, the President, uh, Trump, the other day called it in a speech in Ohio, twice referred to uh, criminal gang members as animals. Um, I think there are some who would say, well, that's sort of attempt to, another attempt to paint broader swaths of immigrants uh, as criminal and violent. Um, he wasn't that specific about uh, who he's talking about necessarily. And I'm wondering if you think that kind of rhetoric is appropriate or whether that could uh, you know, potentially set back um, some of your efforts in trying to convince community members uh, to work with your department. As a career law enforcement officer, I can tell you that criminal aliens are a threat not only to public safety, but to national security. We got to enforce the laws. The men and women at ICE are doing it in a professional manner. Because they're locked them back to the tra uh, tractor trailer. I'm not calling anybody in I'm saying there's those who break the law and those who don't break the law. We're going to destroy the vile criminal cartel, MS-13, and many other gangs. But MS-13 is particularly violent. They don't like shooting people because it's too quick. It's too fast. I was reading one of these animals was caught and explaining they like to knife them and cut them and let them die slowly because that way it's more painful and they enjoy watching that much more. These are animals. I really think that there's going to be a lot of pressure on Russia to make sure that peace happens because, frankly, if Russia didn't go in and back this animal, you wouldn't have a problem right now. These are the charred remains of an overnight attack on the local Republican Party headquarters in Orange County, North Carolina. Officials say the building was vandalized with the words Nazi Republicans leave town or else spray painted on the side of the building. Local media reported that the building was hit by a so-called firebomb overnight 